Hey guys, welcome back to the big build. Over 16 build episodes, we're making this. We start this episode by adding a bit of clutter. Well, detailing the areas. What was it, the sawmill right now? We're adding uh, a few things. What? Yeah, these are where the trains are going to be sleeping at night in there. Nice new little houses there. Doors kind of open next to each other. That's fine, I think. Little water tower. Needs to put some coal there somewhere. Yeah, it took me a while, but I found a little road. Just needed something slightly different. We'll put a little bit of grass around it on either side. And we'll lower that down again a little bit in a sec. Just to get rid of the gap there. Right, this is my second attempt. You've only seen the first. You didn't see the first, but to my second attempt with a, uh, a platform. The first looked great. It was wooden just like this. I figured, you know, this being a sawmill, that a wooden platform would be nice. The first one was great. It looked nice in this, but it, it was too low and everything floated, so you couldn't use it. So I just got rid of it. This one's all right, though. What's that? I suppose it looks like pine or something. An old shelter. Now I put some in front of it, but I didn't realise that person's got a mobile phone. So, from the 1960s. Well, it's a very progressive area. Yeah, let's lock that down, shall we? Or oh, don't make me do that yet. Well, at some point, because it becomes annoying, every time I put something there, it moves. Some American trucks there, but that's okay. Nice old vans and trucks and things. And some forklifts. They all need forklifts, these places. I think that forklift is a bit tiny for this area. Some people do nothing. And finally some splines of grass. And we'll use some turf of X on top of that later on as well. This is where things start to get real. It really does make a difference and a tiny bit of texture. That's all it is really when you think about it, is a bit of texture. Because everything's quite flat at the moment. That'd be lovely to just use Turf of X everywhere, but uh, you don't have enough control. Some people who's going to be who will download this route won't uh, actually have a uh, NVIDIA card, so won't be able to use Turf of X, so it'll just be blank, nothing there. And yeah. yeah, you end up using both. So you're using Turf of X right on top of this now. It just makes that grass a bit wavy. The bad and splines on this. The most important thing is if you don't have a, a, a NVIDIA card and don't have access to Turf of X, you still have grass on the route. So I think that's the most important thing. So now AMD have just brought some new cards. I don't know if they can have a very similar sort of appy. The way TFFX supposedly works, it taps into a direct um, appy, um, a direct method of um, controlling 
control and the grasp via the, uh, the graphics card. There are some demos of uh, moving grass on the NVIDIA site uh, from when they uh, brought the, uh, this out. They look right. Different games use it. I do like that. These massive bushes, they're called undergrowth. They're, they're the least under anything on this map, really. You've got hedges, which are tiny, and you've got the undergrowth, which is massive. It's, it's great. I love it. Well, it's a little bit see-through. There's one version of them, though, which is not is less see-through, so you mix that in with it. I think the resolution's slightly lower. It could also, it could also be my graphical settings. They're not on absolute max. If you look at the, the list there, it says undergrowth 6F. I think it's 6A, maybe, which is the... I don't know if you can hear the bang in the background. Someone's knocking some furniture a bit outside somewhere. Right, we're getting towards Newtown again here. You can see it in the background there. Now, if you remember a couple of episodes, I say you basically break it up. You you had a spline something and then you add something else in. So that's what I've done there. You've got the fences and stuff, then we... I fell in love with the undergrowth in this one. And then we just basically break it up. And even with that, we're just using places. Now it's wall time again. We'll do a bit of walling. Everyone's going to be using that term by the time the, uh, this video finishes. Walling, yes. The way to fill in gaps. Place a wall there. And then put some trees there. That's it. You can't see that anymore, so it's not fi it's filled. It's not a gap anymore. More walls. Wrong colour though. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Brown. Actually, that wall has to go. Otherwise, there's no entrance into that building there behind it. And that'd be a bad thing. We will be extending the route on the last build episode upwards. Here we go. So this is the wall for this. We completely walled him in. There's no way out now. We're stuck in there for life to make something. I swear they could use the platform. There you go. You can use the platform to get out. Problem is, there's no passengers trains. Yeah, kind of, it's fine. At some point I've deleted that wall, even though it was there before. Now, do you remember this area? It was once uh, going to be factory work. Well, it's all houses, isn't it, now? few more houses just to back it off really you can't just leave it like that don't like having gardens on every one of them but you're going to be seeing this so it's going to be done and that is an end of another episode thank you very much for watching if you liked it please press the like button if you want to see more please subscribe and if you press that ding dong bell button you know what it does cheers guys see you next time bye bye